Do you like credits? Of course you do. <laughs> that is exactly why you clicked on this video. You want to know how to make credits and how to do it without spending your own money. Well, look no further because I have the top five ways to make credits in 5.0. So sit back, relax, because this is about to get rather green. Or maybe blue, or just whatever color credits are in Star Wars The Old Republic. Okay, so you would like to know how to make credits in Star Wars The Old Republic. Now we all know that this is a pretty hot topic, and a lot of people do try to cover this with many different videos. And the truth is, there is only really a set couple of ways to earn yourself a whole ton of credits. Now in this video, I'm going to give you five different ways to make credits in Star Wars The Old Republic all of which are very good methods. Good enough for me to consider them the new top five for my channel. But make sure you stick around after the list because I'm going to be giving out some tips on how to make even more credits. So without further ado, here we go. The top five ways to make credits in Star Wars The Old Republic. Okay, so at number five, we have the good old buying low and selling high. But you see, the thing is with this is that not many players actually understand how to do this. More often than not, players usually end up being confused as to where to even start. So here's what I'm gonna tell you to do. Make yourself a list of rare items that are in the game, especially items which are popular at this moment in time. Write them all down on a piece of paper, store them in a notepad somewhere. Just make your list and make sure that you can refer to it easily later on. Now what you want to be doing is checking the listings for these items on the Galactic Trade Network as much as possible. I honestly couldn't count how many times I've seen a really rare item being sold for a really low amount of credits. This is easy profit for you, especially if you are checking in on this very often. Completely depending on what the item was that you picked up for a low price, you could make millions upon millions of profit. This is definitely something worth doing. Okay, number four is an easy one. Anybody can do this. With the release of Knights of the Eternal Throne, crafting kinda made a comeback. Because these days, most players are crafting. Do you know what that means? Materials are in demand. Do you know how easy it is just to go gather some materials from nerds on planets? It is easy. So easy. Like, boringly easy, but still easy. So go and take the next ship to Zakul. Go and gather some materials from some freaking nerds and sell those damn things. It's easy work, it's easy money, and they're in demand. And if you're willing to put the time into it, you can make yourself a lot of credits. Okay, number three is a bit of a different one, but it is still just as effective when it comes to making credits. So this one is going to be for conquest. Nothing really too specific, just conquest as a whole, because there is a lot of potential here for you to make a lot of credits. This could be from killing the named commanders and looting the flagship plans that they drop, along with completing your conquest objectives and gaining high-end materials as a reward. You could later on use those materials for crafting, or you can sell those flagship plans that you picked up, and a lot of credits can be made from doing this. Just the only flagship law is that most of the time you will probably need to be in a group. <sighs> I know, sharing the credits, right? Nobody wants to do that. But hey, this method is still just as effective, and if you have the guild that is doing it, then get out there and go do it, because there is some serious coin to be made here. Alright, number two. This one is definitely a good one, and at the moment, this is one of the best ways to get credits. So as I said earlier, upon the release of Knights of the Eternal Throne, crafting made a comeback. And guess what? You can make yourself a lot of credits, just by doing some crafting. Okay, so gathering materials from nerds is easy. Completing the PvP weeklies and conquest objectives are also easy and you get high-end materials from doing those. That tied in with a little bit of luck from your command crits with some schematics and all of a sudden, you're in business. You can start crafting some of the end game mods and enhancements or even barrels and hilts and those things are definitely in demand and players are willing to spend a lot of credits on them. You could be selling just one crafted item for over a million credits. This is definitely something you should be looking into. Crafting really isn't complicated in Star Wars The Old Republic, so it shouldn't be too hard for you to get the gist of how to craft. But if you do need that little bit of help in the crafting department, then make sure you check out another YouTuber called Swotarista. She has an excellent video series dedicated to the new players called The Academy. Don't think of the time you're putting in, just think of the money. 
Alrighty then, the number one way to make credits in Star Wars The Old Republic. Now I'm pretty sure that this method of making credits is going to be the best method for a very long time. In fact, this was also the best method for 4.0 as well. First thing you want to do is get yourself in a group of four people. Next thing you want to do is go and do some goddamn heroics. More specifically, the bonus missions for those heroics. Because for each bonus mission that you complete, you are going to receive nearly 20,000 credits. But wait, there's more. You also receive that same figure for everybody else in the group. So you don't just get nearly 20k yourself, you also get another 20k for each member in the group. And with there being four of you, that means you're going to get nearly 80,000 credits just for one bonus mission, which is probably going to take you like five minutes. Now this is possible with every single heroic in the game. So if you want to make credits and you want to make them fast, then this is the method to use. And now that we are done with the list, I just want to give you guys some tips. So something that you really should be thinking about is why exactly do you want to make credits? Because setting yourself a goal is actually an important thing. Another thing as well is that credits aren't really needed in Star Wars The Old Republic. In fact, the only time you're really going to need a fair amount of credits is if you're a person who is raiding often and is going to need to repair their armor a lot more often than somebody else. The only exception is really going to be is if you're starting up a new guild and you need to buy a new flag flagship and strongholds and all that kind of stuff. Another thing to think about as well is do you really need to be buying the crap that you are buying? Because let's face it, you are probably buying an armor set or a decoration or a color crystal. You're buying something for vanity, right? Hell, I should know. I do this myself. So just ask yourself if you really need to buy that or would you have more fun just grouping up and going doing some goddamn content if and when we get it by our way. Now, despite the fact that I did just give you guys a top five list on how to make credits, probably the best way of all time to make credits is going to be playing the GTN, which means buying low, selling high, constantly searching the GTN for a good deal. People in this game make themselves over a billion credits doing this. So if you're interested in doing something like this, you really need to have a lot of patience because it's going to take you a very, very long time to get used to the GTN. The player market is changing all of the time, especially with popular items, always differentiating with new packs coming out, new armor sets, it's just changing all of the time and you need to know when to buy and when to sell. Okay, so that's going to be it for the tips from me, but hey, if you have your own tips and want to share them, please leave them down below. If you want to keep your own money making secrets to yourself, I understand, that's completely fine, right? We don't want everybody making money in the game, do we? Wink, wink. But hey, thank you guys for watching and as always, make sure you smash that like button on this video and I will catch you guys in the next one.